everyone it's time for another spooky video and for tonight's spooky video I'm going to be talking about a real life paranormal experience it's not one of mine it's someone else's but I did see this on a ghost show at one point in time and it's been on several ghost shows it's a very famous paranormal experience and a very famous ghost photo so I thought that I would talk about it and this is called the pink lady of green castle so a guy winters and his friend terry lambert had heard rumors about this haunted mansion for years and this mansion was called the o'hare mansion in green castle indiana apparently they had already had like a really spooky encounter in there one time before and Guy had only had, you know, a few paranormal experiences and he really wanted to, you know, go there for the night because he thought it would be a really fun idea. The mansion was built in the 1800s by the O'Hare family and several generations of their family called this mansion home. The building was abandoned for decades and it was surrounded by unkept tree hedge and the only entrance into this mansion was a gated driveway so the guys actually had to ask for permission before they could go into this mansion and ghost hunt but they had gone there before and had several paranormal encounters like i said so they had experienced all sorts of creepy stuff that night I believe I read that one of them seen a spooky apparition in the hallway and they were actually filming whenever they were ghost hunting. I don't know if it was just him and this one guy or if it was just like a bunch of friends. I believe it was more than just those two, but I don't know for sure. He was the only one brave enough to venture off and do this. I believe they caught this like vapor mist thing kind of like shoot past the camera and if I can find that video I will put it here somewhere for you guys to see. He decided that he was going to go outside and take a few photos of like the upstairs windows. At the time he took the photos. He remembers feeling like this very sick feeling come over him almost like he was nauseous like he was gonna throw up and this weird pulsing sensation in his head after he had got these photos developed he was shocked to see a ghostly apparition of a woman in the upstairs window and she wasn't there whenever he took the photos i believe that in one of the photos they actually caught a ghostly apparition um, of a lady in gold and then they also seen a pink translucent woman. What was interesting was the pink lady was actually caught three consecutive times in three separate photos. Each of them she had a different pose. So they actually had someone do analysis on these photos and they found that the images that were in the photos were present whenever the photos were taken. They weren't like added in or anything like that. So there was no evidence considering that the photos had been tampered with. So something else I'd like to point out is that at the time these photos were taken Photoshop was not as advanced or really, I don't even know if it existed at this point in time. So that's another indication that the photos were legit and real and that they didn't make this up, that they did not add these ghostly apparitions into these photos. They didn't really have like Photoshop or any of these photo editing softwares like we do now. And I don't know for sure like when these photos were exactly taken, but I believe it was in like the 80s or the 90s at the time. So 
yeah, you know that there wasn't really anything like advanced back then. So Guy ended up taking these creepy photos to a local TV station who did like a quick piece on this story. And it was through this that he met one of the members of the O'Hare family. The woman Mary took several family photos with her to her meeting with Guy. And she quickly recognized this pink lady as her mother, Irene O'Hare. The window in which these photos were caught was actually her mother's bedroom. And she believed the lady that they caught, which was the gold apparition, she believed that this was her aunt, Vera O'Hare. Guy appeared on several television shows on this story, um, World's Scariest Ghosts Caught on Tape, which is actually where I heard about it, and then one of my favorites, which they unfortunately do not play anymore, My Ghost Story. Unfortunately, since these photos were taken and all these uh, paranormal experiences happened, the building was demolished to make room for a cornfield. But Guy believes that every time he drives past this area, he still feels Irene O'Hare's presence. Yeah, what do you guys think? I definitely wish that this mansion was still around because if it was, I would totally be going there and ghost hunting. I think that that would be amazing. But I believe I've seen these pictures floating around on the web for quite some time now. I think that they're pretty old, which makes me believe that they're legit like i don't think that like i said back in the day they really had like the software or the editing programs that they have now to like fake something like that so i just found that very interesting um and another thing is that whenever you're ghost hunting and you take a photo something that i've learned is that if you take several photos of the same area or whatever you're taking a picture of you know, that can kind of help you determine whether, you know, what you were seeing was real or whether, you know, it was something else and it can help you debunk whatever it could have been, you know, if it wasn't paranormal. But the fact that he caught her in three photos, like back to back, shows that this is like a real ghost photo in my opinion so yeah let me know what you think and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac and if you are new to my channel hi my name is melanie and i upload creepy videos every saturday so it would be nice if you'd stick around <laughs> and i will see you guys in my next video if you hear something, my cat is in a little box right beside me. I hope he doesn't poop. Oh my god. Ew. Jesus Christ. And this weird pulsing. Shh. So they actually had someone do analysis on these photos. Shh. I'm trying to film.